Yeah, it's a bit like a big pressure cooker. Wow. And what that does is it kills all the natural microbes you know, that are in everything. And then we put our uh, mycorrhizal fungi, the one we want, in there. So we have to start with a pure, you know, a, a, like a pure, uh, sort of no microbes, no contamination. So you sterilize everything, and then you put in what you want, and then you grow it out as well. And I'll just sort of show you how we sort of ramp it up to, to a production, to a final product. So basically what we do is on this plate, this plate here, is a pure culture of uh, fungus. And it's growing on a, a nutrient media, a gel nutrient media. So we take a, a, a section of the uh, plant root that we're interested in, and we put it on this media that, that grows the fungus. It's a, it's a nutrient media for the fungus. So it grows the fungus out, and uh, you know, once it fills the plate, we have that plate sort of full of fungus. Uh, and this is what we call, referred to as our starter culture. So once we have a number of these starter cultures, and these are just two different colors. This particular one, uh, it's a little darker brown. This is uh, Pithalysis tinctoris. This is from Chile. This is a culture we have. Uh, we send down to Chile for uh, uh, a number of species, mainly uh, radiata pine, which is very similar to our red pine, and eucalyptus uses that species. And then this one here is a, a Hebaloma cylindrosporum, and uh, that's for a pine and spruce boreal species here. In that was just a little further behind, too, eh? Uh, yeah, this was started, at, uh, actually, they were both started probably roughly the same date, uh, but the, this is the uh, South American Chilean uh, species, it grows faster. More so aggressive, yeah. Yeah, so it filled the plate, that plate's full, whereas this one is about half full. You can see it's still growing out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we could pick that up there, but uh, the side's better. That cuts here, and it's sort of growing out the side. So what we do once these plates are full, uh, we'll take, we'll take a tool, and uh, everything in here is, is aseptic, so it's, it's all sterilized and it's uh, going uh, in, in, in a sterile environment. Mm -hmm. both the nutrient media and the air, so that's why they're all sealed up. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a laminar flow hood, so when this is on, I won't turn it on now because it's kind of noisy, it blows the air through, so you have a clean area to work with, so there's a positive air pressure uh, with an electric filter in the back. So and no microbes in the air can yeah, hurt it? Yeah, there's a positive pressure, like a air blowing through here, So uh, and that air is filtered. So when you stick your hands in, everything's got to be all sterile, sterilized in here first with alcohol, and then this, this whole area is a sterile environment. Great. So uh, anything that's opened, once it's sterilized, anything open has to be done in, uh, under the under the fluid. So we open these up, and uh, we have this cutting tool. This is sterilized again. And we just take little cuts of the, uh, of the fungus. And then we scoop those cuts into here. This is the uh, same nutrient media. Only it's, uh, it's not gel, there's no agar in it, mm -hmm. but it's the same uh, nutrient media that's in the petri plates. And uh, you can see this, uh, the culture, there's a number of smaller ones in the bottom, and the culture grows out uh, from the center. So that, that one of these plugs will grow into that. Eventually this whole uh, uh, beaker will be full. And uh, so this is sort of the basis of our inoculum. What we want to do is to get those fungal cultures back onto the appropriate uh, tree species in the field. Um, and then uh, once we have a number of these up, and I'll show you, they grow in an incubator at 25, 27 degrees, and that's next door. I'll show you uh, sort of the lineup of those. Do uh, North American and South American species grow at different temperatures, or is 27 pretty standard? 27 is pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, Chilean species will take a little bit higher, up to 30, mm -hmm. but because we grow both together in the, in, in the uh, incubator, it's we usually sort of split the difference. Right? Yeah, because they want to overstress the North American. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know once they're uh, uh, once they're fully uh, um, sort of colonized the the, uh, um, the beakers, mm -hmm. uh, we filter we filter it off so we don't want them growing anymore. We're going to put them in the fridge. So we filter off the nutrient media. We concentrate it, and this is sort of the end product. This is basically the last stage before we apply it in the nursery. So what this is is just uh, hypho mats sort of packed together, it's in concentrate form. So it's like a can of mushrooms? Uh, basically. Yeah. Well, uh, mushrooms are uh, have fungus. Fun fungus yeah. Yeah. Uh, very similar. The, this is in the, in the mycelium state. Uh, as a fruiting body, they would form a fungus. But here, it's just uh, sort of mats. Basically, you can see a mat like this here. They're just condensed because we kind of squish them together and put them in here. Mm. So this, this would likely take probably about 50 of these bottles. Wow. Sort of concentrated in, and this particular bottle it depends how many mills are in there. It's not quite full, but this bottle will do two hundred thousand seedlings. Two hundred thousand seedlings from that bottle. Yeah, 
We normally uh, a bottle do they of blue, do they just grind it cut grind it into very small pieces and then mix it in a solution? Yeah. Well, the next stage is, and you do that right at the nursery. This is ground up. There's a procedure for grinding it. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is just get a very small piece of the mycelium, the fungal mycelium, back into the rooting zone. In and the then container. it'll and then well then it grows and it colonizes with the root, and then the uh, the plant itself gives it the nutrients it needs to grow. And see, in these bottles, we're doing it without the plant. So the nutrients, what the nutrients are, are carbohydrates and a bunch of... Uh, um, Some sugars? Well, well, m mostly, sh well, there's a lot of sugars. That's carbohydrates are in sugar form. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there's lots of uh, um, micronutrients that just sort of replace what the plant would normally give the, the fungus. So there's more than carbohydrates at the, sort of the plant. Simulated symbiote? Basically, yeah. Okay. And there's a lot of work to develop with the, uh, the nutrient mix to grow specific uh, uh, fungus organisms because the, uh, the one for the uh, Pithalosis tinctoris would have a slightly different growth characteristics and requirements than the boreal species. So the nutrient mixes are different for each, uh, each species. So that's part of the, the process is, you know, once we identify uh, which particular strains we want to put on that plant, you know, which are sort of natural for that plant and are sort of uh, adapted for high nutrient uptake is the ones we're looking for. So that's what they're screened for, and that's what gives us the best growth in the field. So once we have those identified, then we have to figure out, you know, okay, what's the best way to actually you know, produce the mycelium in the lab. Okay. And these bottles here are just, uh, you know, similar to the smaller bottles, just larger vessels. And this is the mycelium growing out. These lighter colored ones are all, uh, are all hepaloma species. These would be for boreal uh, seedlings. So we're just getting ready to... Uh, uh, there's a, sp a special filtering process where we take off the nutrient mixes and uh, we harvest the hyphae and then we package it into these. So and then that's what we ship. Uh, that's the sterile, it's on plastic containers. So that goes into a cooler and to Chile it goes uh, you know, five, uh, you know, four or five bottles in one cooler and that would do a million seedlings. And then it's it shipped down air freight. It's ready to roll here now. So those are just going out in a smaller bottle, we get uh, 95,000. So we package it depending on what the order is, different size bottles. But normally we could get roughly uh, uh, 250,000, a quarter million per two liter bottle. So we work it from there.